The 777 is equipped with conventional nose gear. The main landing gear are attached to the wings. The aft pair of wheels on each truck is steerable. The main landing gear tilt for retraction and after extension. The landing gear controls are located on the forward panel. The landing gear lever has only two positions, down and up. The landing gear lever must be pulled out before it can be moved. The airplane is restricted to 270 knots or 0.82 Mach when the landing gear are down and during extension and retraction. Simplified landing gear indications are displayed on ICAS. A single indication tells you all three landing gear are down and locked. Now use the landing gear lever to retract the landing gear. Touch the highlighted area. The indication changes when the first landing gear is in transit. The landing gear are up and locked. The display is blanked after 10 seconds. Extend the landing gear. The in-transit indication is displayed when the first landing gear unlocks. The landing gear free fall to the down position. When all landing gear are down and locked, the down indication is displayed. Center hydraulic system pressure opens and closes the gear doors. Center hydraulic system pressure also retracts the nose and main landing gear. Hydraulic pressure is removed after the landing gear and gear doors are up and locked. Hydraulic pressure forces the landing gear into mechanical locks during retraction and unlocks the landing gear for extension. Once unlocked, the landing gear free fall to the down position. Hydraulic pressure is not needed for the landing gear to extend. Next, non-normals are presented. During ground operations, the landing gear lever is locked in the down position. After takeoff, you cannot raise the landing gear lever if the airplane's air ground sensing system remains in the ground mode. The landing gear lever lock override switch unlocks the landing gear lever in any phase of flight. Push the lever lock override switch. You must push and hold the lever lock override switch while you raise the landing gear lever. Retract the landing gear. The alternate gear extension system may be used to extend the gear if there is no hydraulic pressure in the center system or when the gear do not extend properly. The alternate gear extension system uses an electrically powered hydraulic pump and center hydraulic system fluid to unlock the landing gear and landing gear doors. The landing gear and gear doors extend without sequencing. The landing gear do not tilt. Extend the landing gear. If the landing gear do not extend in the normal transit time, then the landing gear display expands to show all gear positions. And the ICAST caution message, Gear Disagree, tells you the landing gear position disagrees with the landing gear lever. Reset the master caution system. 
The gear door advisory message tells you a landing gear door remained open. The alternate gear extension system is controlled by a guarded momentary action switch. Raise the guard of the alternate gear switch. You must push and hold the alternate gear switch for at least one second to activate the alternate gear extension system. Push the alternate gear switch. The landing gear doors remain open after alternate extension even if center hydraulic pressure is available. The landing gear indications remain expanded because gear doors are open. You may retract the landing gear following alternate gear extension if center hydraulic system pressure is available. Retract the landing gear. Now extend the landing gear again. Reset the master caution system. This caution message means that one of two braces on the left main gear is unlocked. The gear is down but is not fully locked down. The landing gear indications remain expanded and display the non-normal condition. Next, let's look at airplane steering. You control airplane steering with the rudder pedals and the nose wheel steering tillers. The rudder pedals turn the nose wheels up to 7 degrees. The tillers turn the nose wheels up to 70 degrees. The tillers override the rudder pedals if they are used at the same time. The airplane steering system includes the conventional steerable nose wheels. Additionally, the aft axle of each main landing gear is steerable. Main gear aft axle steering operates when the nose wheels are turned approximately 13 degrees or more. Therefore, main gear steering is controlled only by the tiller. The main gear aft axle wheels turn opposite the direction of the nose wheels. This advisory message appears if either main gear aft axle is unlocked when it should be centered. The center hydraulic system powers nose wheel and main gear steering. If the center hydraulic system fails, reserve fluid from the center system powers nose wheel steering.